my great Redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, the trials of His grace, my gracious Master and my God, assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth and broad. The honors of thy name He breaks the power of cancelled sin He sets the prisoner free His blood can make the foulest clean His blood avail Your God, ye fallen race, Lord, can be saved through faith alone. Be justified by grace. See all your sins on Jesus laid. The Lamb of God was slain. His soul was once an offering made for Every soul in pain Glory to God and praise and love Be ever, ever given By saints below and saints above The church and earth My great Redeemer's praise The glories of my God and King The triumphs of His grace Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Welcome po sa ating prayer covenant. Nagagalak po kami makasama ang bawat isa sa inyo. Happy Friday po sa bawat isa sa atin. Ayan po. Bago po tayo mag-start sa pagninilay-nilay ng salita ng Diyos, uh, tayo po ay manalangin. Samahin niyo po muna ako sa isang maikling panalangin. Tayo po ay manalangin, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po sa isang magandang umagang binigay niyo po sa bawat isa sa amin, Lord, sa aming pagnilay-nilay na yung salita. No ay buksan, gabayan na aming mga puso't isipan, Lord God, sa pagtanggap nito, Panginoon. Hindi, Lord, kung ano po lalabas sa aking mga bibig, ay manggagaling lamang sa inyo. Ito po ang dalangin sa Pahal na Jesus. Amen. Ito, ating teksto ay matatagpuan sa Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 to 23. Yan po, hindi ko na po siya babasahin, pero for a short summary po, um, ito po ay story ah, nung, um, le, na, uh, actually, ito, isa po ito sa mga miracles na ginawa ng Lord throughout His mission, missionary years. Um, two miracles po ang nangyari on this um, verses. Una, is yung woman na nagbe-bleed for many years, at On, in her thought was, mahawakan ko lang kahit yung laylayan ng damit ng Panginoon, gagaling na ako. And indeed, gumaling nga siya. Iba nga po, parang si Lord, naramdaman niya na yung powers niya ay umalis sa kanyang sarili. So, hinanap niya. Until na nag-confess yung babae, na siya po ang naghawak. At sinabi ng Lord, ina, uh, na, na, natuwa si Jesus sa faith na meron ang baba, babaeng yun. Kaya, Hinayala niya, blinis pa niya. And then, 
uh, the originally, bago yung babaeng yon may lalaki na nagsabi na uh, if kaya if hawakan lang ng Lord yung kamay ng anak niyang babae, mabubuhay yon Ganon, ganon siya ka ano, ganon, ganon yung faith niya, pananampalatay niya. Kaya naman si Jesus Christ ay pumayag at pumunta doon sa bahay ng uh, lalaki at nung hinawakan niya yung anak, is yon nabuhay po kasama niyang nag-walk out. Doon sa bahay. So, kung isipin po natin, the Lord, uh, Jesus Christ, I mean, I'm sorry, Jesus Christ on time po na yon performed different miracles in different ways. But there are two main things He does when He performs one. Meron po akong napapansin sa lahat po from His first miracle in Canaan until the time, until the last time that He was seen on earth. Physically, He performed different um, miracles. Pero there's two poignant things he does. Siyempre, uh, redund, uh, parang understood na po yun na nagpe-pray ang Lord. May pagbanggit siya ng pangalan ng, ng ating ama. Pero, yun po ay ang speaking. Pag nagmi-miracle po siya, nagsasalita siya, di ba? Uh, meron po siya mga sinasabi it's either prayer or command. Di ba po? So, it happens when he speaks. Lalo na nga po, di ba yung Jesus calm the storm? Ayan. By his words, nakikita kung gaano ka-powerful siya. The next one is touch. Di ba po? Yung babae, it's either si Jesus ang ahawak or mahawakan siya. Katulad po na nangyari sa ating storya. Yung babae, hinawakan lang niya yung laylayan ng Lord. At yung lalaki ay nanin ay sinabi lang niya, Lord, pag inawakan mo yung kamay, kahit anong parte ng katawan ng anak ko, alam ko mabubuhay siya. So, with with all of this, syempre, there are things that were, uh, there are things that also plays role with it. Syempre, miracles happen when we have faith. And sometimes, ang mis, uh, on those times po pala, syempre, um, na we witness ng mga tao kung gano kung yung mga miracles ng Lord, 'di ba? Nakikita po nila, minsan nahawa ka na kausap nila yung mga uh, tao na performan ng Lord ng miracle. And usually pag si Jesus po talaga gumagawa ng miracles, big, very big, as in very big, yun nga po, raising um, dead people alive, turning water into wine. Um, healing people na years now or pinanganak ng ganon katu- uh, giving sight giving voices even um, expelling um, evil spirits diba po? Uh, grabe po yung ginagawang miracles ng Lord the people at that time when Jesus was alive witnessed how he spoke miracles and do miracles napakaswerte nga po nila diba? when Jesus was still alive all you need to do is to see him and if you're lucky, lucky, be able to touch him or interact with him or he would be able to interact with you. We can be in the same situation like the man or woman in the same level of desperation to seek him. Jesus can still be reachable. Napaka-tangible ng Lord nung time na yun. And yun nga po, sinabi ko before, napakalaki yun ng mga miracles na ginagawa niya. The question is, paano tayo in our modern age, paano tayo na ang tanging gabay lang natin on earth is the Holy Spirit. Yung iniwan ni Jesus bago siya mag-ascend to heaven. We cannot seek a physical form of Jesus that we can speak to or interact with. We cannot find Jesus in His human form and ask to be laid a hand on to perform miracles. And the reality is, miracles the big one like he does before doesn't really happen that much often. And when it does, it's very, very rare. Napaka-rare po kung mangyari yun. Diba nga po may mga napapanood pa po tayo mga real-life stories about people uh, going into coma or near-death experience tapos binubuhay ng Lord. Katulad po nung isang bata na um, basketball player, siya nagka-movie pa nga po yun eh na uh, yung batang yun nag-survive ng coma tapos by the last minute nung time na na magde-decide na yung parents niya na tanggalin na yung life support and they decided he took his breath 
he came back alive and well. Yung mga ganun pong klase ng miracles, syempre, you can't help but ask God, bakit sila na-experience yun? How about me? And yet, again, why do we still seek Him and how come He can be found? It's because Jesus still lives among us. He is in, he is in our heart. He is in our actions. He is in our thoughts. He is in our words. That's why our miracles aren't big. Like the one before. Our miracles can be com little compared to to what Jesus can perform, but it's still a miracle. So as children of God, as we accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, a piece, of, a piece of Him is already with us, and wherever we go, we can perform little miracles. Kaya po pala yung mga malalaking miracles ay um, nakikita, napapansin, kasi malaki nga sila, very rare. And yet, we forget to appreciate the little miracles performed to us or perform to, we perform to other people without even knowing. Our little miracles can be a helping hand or a comforting presence for a friend who was hoping for a miracle from God, yet it wasn't answered. But God is using you as a comfort, as a helping hand for that friend. Or it might not be a friend, it could be a workmate even your partner in life. You can be an inspiration or encouragement if hindi natin kaya yung presensya natin, yung salita natin to your parents, workmates, kapatid, cousins, friends, whoever who can hear your voice. You can be a voice of reason. You can you can do an act of kindness to random strangers. An un you can offer your understanding mind or an open mind to them. Lahat po nang nabanggit ko, sometimes we see it as blessing. Other people just see it as blessing, pero with... But there are people who would consider this little, mir little miracles. It might be small for you, but it might be already huge for the other person. Just to share you an experience of mine on, how, on little miracles... Um, a friend of a very long, long friend of mine. Um, we never really spoke every day since before. Parang it's been so long since we've become close. We've interacted. Yet, that um, out of nowhere, this person um, messaged me. Nag message po sa akin, and this person ex is experiencing suicidal thoughts. At that time, I was also troubled. Troubled po ako nung time na yon. I was also suffering my own problems. And yet, on that time, I was overwhelmed by God's love that I knew I had to be a voice of reason for this person. I have to be a comforting presence to this this person. And that's, before ko siya replyan, I, I asked God for strength. Told, I told him na, Lord, give me the right words to say to this person. Not just because I do not want to feel the guilt of this person's life, if anything goes wrong, but I want to show this person the power you have in our lives. So we talk. Thank God. I, I don't know what happened, but I was able to convince this person not to pursue what they were planning at that time. And years later, right now, even without us interacting, or hindi po kami talaga nag-uusap araw-araw, we seldomly, we seldomly interact, minsan nga, uh, minsan pa po kami, sobrang minsanan lang po kami mga musta si Desai, and yet, Every time the both of us are asked of the most poignant thing that ever happened in our lives, this 
that experience with each other is what we speak about and this person always surprises me because uh, this person expressed until now the greatest gratitude of what God has done in our lives during at that time because right now this person is getting married this person is um, creating a life with the help and foundation as God. So, di ba po, napakasimple lang nung nangyari. It was, it was such a little thing to do, yet it was such a miracle that um, naging, uh, nag, uh, naging pang long term po yung naging effect nung nangyari. Na yun. That's why... I encourage you po. I encourage you people. I encourage every one of us to be little miracles to the people around us. Tsaka hindi naman po natin yung gagawin mag-isa. Kasama po natin yung Holy Spirit. Kasama natin yung piraso ng Panginoon sa mga puso natin na binayaran niya gamit ng kanyang buhay. Ang challenge lang po sa bawat isa sa atin is, are we ready to be a little miracle right now? Or hindi na po sa pagiging ready, syempre, yung experience ko po, hindi po ako ready nun, pero, uh, that experience helped me a lot to get myself back on track. The, another, the, the best question is, are we ready to let God work in our lives again? And let our faith speak for itself as we as we become little miracles for other people pray with me kapatid lord we humbly come before your feet we have been through a lot and just like the man and the woman in the story we have been in our lowest and our faith has been tested more than twice Yet as we reach out to you for just a touch of your presence, and as we speak to seek your presence to ask for your embrace, you enable other people to become our little miracles. People that influence our lives, people who help lend a helping hand, people who lend a listening heart, an understanding, an understanding mind. And now, as we praise you and proclaim your goodness this morning, we are ready, Lord, to be a little, little miracle for others. Use what we can do and be with us, Lord God. Guide us to the people that also seeks you on this day. May your blessings continue flow in us so that we can be able to give. All of this we ask in your mighty and holy name. Amen.